As we've now seen, you can create additional pages of artwork in the same Photoshop document. In this case, an image post and a profile picture, which is incredibly handy, but there is so much more that you can do with artboards. If I left click on the name for the artboard post one, that activates the widgets around the outside. But this time, instead of left clicking on them to create a blank new artboard, I can alt or option and left click and it will create a duplicate of that artboard. So if I just rename that uh, duplicated artboard from post one copy to post two, everything I have is in here ready to go. I can just replace the contents or change the text. If I click on the item called stock one, I can then go to the file menu. I can choose place embedded. If I browse to my info folder, I can select a different piece of artwork, stock two, click on place. And from here, again, making sure the link is active between the width and height. I can scale it up in size larger than the artboard. So I've got room to move the image around where I need it. Click on the tick to apply those transforms. I can just delete the old version. It's not uh, required. We don't even see it now. And with that now deleted, I can click on the text layer with my move tool active. I can click and drag and reposition the text where I need it to be. I can even go back and fine tune the position of the image. Again, clicking on the layer, dragging and moving that around. And you could follow this technique. Perhaps if you have a campaign that runs over several weeks, you could create all your artwork here in one go and then it will be ready to output to social media when you need to use it. But you can keep all those assets in one file and share them quickly and easily. That is really the essence and the benefit of using artboards.